population, all of New Zealand will win. Question number 10, the Honourable Jackie Dean. My question is to the Minister of Tourism. Does he stand by all his statements? Yes, in the context they were given. A supplementary to the Minister. Does he stand by his opening statement to the Tourism Industry Association conference, where he said that his government's programme, outlined in the speech from the throne, is ambitious? Yes. How can then the ministry minister have confidence in his government when there were no references at all to tourism in the speech from the throne? <laughs> oh, Mr. Speaker, we can be we can be very confident, and it's still early days. I'm keen to hear the views of the tourism sector on the key challenges and opportunities for the tourism sector, so that we can work together to address them. Supplementary to the Minister. How does he expect tourism to maintain the highest standard of service to our guests if his government's stated policy is going to reduce the number of overseas workers available to work in tourism? Speaker, skilled labour is a key challenge for the tourism sector. I'm keen to hear the views of the people uh, in the sector so we, we can work together to address that challenge. Point of order, Mr. A point of order, the Honourable David Parker. Mr Speaker, uh, you've been uh, um, policing the issue of interjections very fiercely in respect of opposition uh, interjections during, uh, uh, during opposition members asking questions. Sir, it's very tempting to make interjections when uh, the people asking the questions put little irrelevant uh, snide remarks and insults at the start of their question. And, sir, order will not be maintained in this House if that is not similarly policed. Well, um, I'm not that happy with the uh, approach and the tone of that point of order. Uh, if the member wants to reflect on my chairmanship of the House, I suggest that at least in the first instance he come and do it directly with me. Uh, I am trying to be even-handed, um, but... Uh, I think it's fair to say that not all of the answers uh, that have been received have also been within standing order. Look, if I, no, if I interfered on every occasion a question or an answer was out of order, we'd be here till about five o'clock on questions. I wasn't meaning to imply that, sir. I apologise if that was implicit in my tone, uh, but I do, uh, sir, make the point that was made. Thank you. I, Mr. Mr. Bridges, you should not address me in that way. I'm certainly far too old to be your son. I'll, I'll withdraw and apologise. Right. Question number 11, Mark Pat. Oh, sorry. Hamish Ward. How many tourism operators has he spoken to in Queenstown about how hard it is to find New Zealanders to fill tourism roles? The Speaker, in the uh, three weeks that we've been government, I haven't been down to Queenstown yet. Question number 11, Mark Patterson. Mr Speaker, to the Minister of Research, Science and Innovation, 